so in this episode um, we decided to do a small test strip on the rubbing strake. I started out at 240 grit, fortunately that was a bit too fine and uh, took quite a bit of time just to do three or four inches so I changed after that to uh, 80 grit and that did the job. Rob's doing a great job. Looks really nice now. It's coming on. Rob's still at it. Nearly to end now. Very, very windy. So looking good though. He's done a really smooth you run across there. It looks fantastic. Yeah, looks really nice. Keep it up, Bob. Soon be cup of tea time. It's on the end bit now. Last little bit. And that's one side of it done only. Oh, just a few white clouds are coming but it's uh, very windy still, but it's quite hot. Back end of the boat now. Oop, 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 oop. I'm uh, sinking a little bit in this uh, quick sand. Well, I would call it quick sand, but. He's doing a great job. Near enough done now. Great job. This is the other side that hasn't been touched yet. It's a bit rough, but it'll be beautiful just like the other side. What a difference it makes doing that little bit like that. I mean, this is really, really bad here, but it'll be beautiful by the time it's finished. This back one's sorting as well. Thetis is all off. Back round to the other side now, to start with. So we're just putting on a, uh, a first layer coat, it's been sanded, but to just give it a bit of protection once we leave it, it's having a thin coat of varnish on it. That's to bring out the grain of the wood, and in this case, it's a teak rubbing rail. It's only a cheap brush, so we're losing a few presses. Beautiful, yeah, yeah. You've done a really good job.
doing the rubbing down has identified a few issues. We've got, uh, we've got one just here, which I've got to uh, sort out. And, uh, I think what we'll do with that, we'll use the West Epoxy again. And, uh, Probably have to take it back to here because there's filler back there. I'll do the screw, pull it back, apply the epoxy, and push it back together again. Try to form some sort of clamp arrangement to hold it. This is the finished coat by any means. This is just a protective coat. Because the boat's going to be left now for a few days, we've got other jobs to do. Not the least is working on the original spray hood. Won't bore you to death with the uh, pictures of wielding a paintbrush. But this is uh, pale blue anti-slip deck paint we did just these two uh, lazarette covers just to give it a test we like the colour so we decided to mask and paint just the area above the rubbing strake I'm just starting to get first coat of topside paint along the sides. We want to see what it's going to look like. We want to brighten it up at the same time. Unfortunately, it's an extremely windy day today. We just put in, just put in a coat on just to see what it looks like just going up to the top of the gunnel. The rest of it will be done as well, but the cabin top will be done in white, but all the windows need the rubbers and the perspex replacing. Well, this was sold as non non-slip paint it's supposed to have the sand particles in it but I believe it's just gloss but it doesn't matter because it's going on non-slip paint continuing further down coat on this lens going up just to show some of the results although it's still got the masking tape on we're going to try for the grand reveal it'll either be brilliant or a mess
This paint can get where water won't. <laughs> we'll get on to the back section. Painting the decks, pale blue, allegedly anti slip paint. Not quite so sure about that. I'll brighten the whole front of the deck up. Tea time again. Oh, of course, only the best. <laughs> 